In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the second table and finish up the relationships for the assignment. And so we click Create Table and uh, click to Add. And for this one, I want a number. And the field here is going to hook up to our order table. Uh, these are, in fact, the order detail. And so um, I know what I'm going to hook this up to is the order ID and I know that that was an auto number field from before and so I just type in um, here. I've, so I chose a number so I could hook them up properly and for this I'm going to type in order underscore ID for the name. Um, now the next thing I have here is I, I, have, I need each item here so I need a um, title ID and that's in the titles table and so I need to look up to see what kind of a field that is and so I double click on it and it opens the table and I I can see right now that it says BU10032 so that has to be a text field it cannot be anything else if we went to the design view we can see that it's a text field so close that click to add text and I'm going to put title underscore ID um, I need another one here, which would be number, and I'm just going to put quantity. And that should really do it for this table. Uh, and I'm going to click on save it, and I'm going to save it as uh, order detail. And E would help spell that properly. So click OK. So that's saved. And I want to create the relationships here, so um, you can see that I have the orders and order uh, ID stuff from last time. I do not have the order detail table, so I'm going to cl right click, show table, click on order detail, click add. I'm going to close that because I have everything at this point. And I want to create my relationships like I did before. I, click on order ID and drag it over to order ID in the order table and it says that um, order ID to order ID, order ID here and order ID here the relationship type is one to many we have one order with many details in the order and again do not cl click on the enforce referential integrity click create now the other one we have another field that I need to um, you can rearrange this, of course, by by uh, clicking in the um, header row for that and then just moving the mouse. The other one I want to create is the relationship between the title ID and the title ID in that new table. And so I do just like I did before. I click on title ID in the titles table. I hold the left mouse button down. I drag it over to title ID in the order detail table. I let go. We get our... our um, edit relationships box up title ID to title ID and no it doesn't make any difference if it's capitalized or not it's a one-to-many relationship and click click create so there we have the set of relationships as well as the um, additional table for the um, our assignment so I'm cl click close on this and it asks me if I want to save the changes to the layout of relationships I say yes and that's it for this video.